was a very sad day today at Green Steel USA LLC. You're not going to believe it, y'all. My pigs are gone. The pigs, they were just starting to get used to me and everything. Ah. Uh, the cage wasn't compromised. Uh, a freak accident had happened. It rained real bad um, a couple of nights ago. And a tree branch fell down. We removed the tin. We put electrical fencing around everything. We got a hog panel, which I was better for me so we can move them around this property. Tree fence fell down and my pigs got out. And now... I put an APP out there. I put them everywhere. They made it to the other side down there where that woodpecker tree is. The barbed wire fence is not hooked up. They got out. They took off. They somebody's dinner plate now. I promised them when I rescued them they would never be on someone's dinner plate. And now we're coming into Thanksgiving. And if someone finds these pigs, they will become someone's dinner. And I'm so depressed about it because I really, literally just saved them from a horrible situation. They were loving it out here. We were going to get ready to transport them to a new section of our land. And, yep, gone. And the sad part about it is in the morning they were there. I checked on them. At 6 a.m., they were there. 4 a.m. they were there. All night long they were there. And I guess they didn't realize that that section was already compromised. And I guess when I want to say um, Clyde got close, he saw a barrier that he could get out and he left and then she followed after. And normally wherever he is, she is and we're vice versa. So right now, yeah, I don't have any pigs. I'm so sad about it. I've been out here for two days now searching for them all day. This happened yesterday. All day yesterday and all this morning. And just about 15, 20 minutes ago, I went all the way out to Keysville. Like, followed that main highway right there. I followed it that way and went all the way up north. And you see them, there's a good possibility they could be in this little area of woods there, but I can't go in it because um, that's protected area. That's federally owned in there. You can't get caught in there. So, But I did go on the other side of it, which is the cotton field, and I, I played, I have a Bluetooth speaker that I hooked my phone up to, and I have thank God, some voices of them as they were squealing in the backyard. And I was hoping to lure them out from wherever they are because they are very smart animals. But no. And I don't know. Between the 20 minutes that I seen them, I went out and checked on them at 6. When I went out there at 6.20, they were gone. Um, for 20 minutes, anybody could have been on that highway. Could have seen them, grabbed them, throw them in the back of a a truck and hauled ass with them. I don't know, you know, we got hunters everywhere now, but I didn't hear no bullets or anything. So I don't know. I'm just very sad and depressed about the whole thing. And I just went out and spent $400 on this electrical fencing that a lot of the homesteaders use and it's made for pigs and it runs off of solar and had the solar thing out there now running and charging up and it was good. and. Well, as soon as I released that metal pan back there, they found a compromise in it and they got out. And I'm very heartbroken over it. And there's nothing I could do because I don't know where they are. And I feel just really bad for them because I rescued them. And I promised they were never going to be on no one's dinner table. They were going to live out here for the rest of their life. And they're gone. And I don't can't understand it and nobody in this neighborhood has said hey there's pigs running around here loose no one's mentioned anything so somebody probably got them and killed them and they're on someone's dinner freezer right now i'm just so upset about the whole thing so i just want to give you an update of my demise right before thanksgiving 
my piggies are gone. It's nasty. I just rather someone hey say, hey, there's a bunch of pigs running around loose around here. You guys have pigs and no one said nothing about them. Plus, they don't have no tags on them. I was going to get them registered. Um, that I was the proper owner of them. The vet was scheduled to come out here on Friday. And now I don't even have that. So I can't prove their mind. Except for I know what they look like. Clyde has a butterfly black stain on the side of his eye. And Bonnie, she has, it looks like she has something wrong with her eyes. But it's just that her hair is extremely white in that area. But yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be very upset, though, if someone says, hey, I got some pig cooking in the grill. I'm going to be really upset because that was my pigs you just slaughtered to eat. And I promise they wouldn't never be on someone's dinner table. I literally just rescued those two pigs. And Clyde was only four months old. And he his 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 um his body parts haven't even dropped yet. He was still young. And um Bonnie she she was only three months old and um they should have been, you know, thriving today and in, in their new section of land that we just my husband just weed whacked down so they could go further out and we set up the whole panel and everything and <laughs> tree branch landed on it like a freak accident the tree branch landed on the line and it disconnected the line I mean it's this is a big tree branch this is huge back there I don't even know how we're even gonna get it off um like get it out of the way oh, I don't know I want to do get me two more pigs but I don't want to be discouraged that these pigs are gonna get out I mean I've been watching on videos and talking to a lot of old timers. They put it up anywhere between 10,000 volts to 20,000, depending on the size of the hog. And they, I want to get a young pig that, you know, like it's just fresh right out of the mama. Um, leave it with mama for as much as we possibly can. And I want to, I want the pig to be babies so I can raise them. I just feel bad. I really feel bad for them, and I, I just, there's nothing I could do. They're just gone. Just totally gone. So, it's pretty breezy outside, as you can see. It's very, very breezy. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Blue is on the hunch. Ah, ah. Come back here. Come back here. Ah, ah. The military is going to get you. The military is out and about. They are practicing out here. They're doing like, I don't know what they're doing, but all these clouds are made by the military. They're putting like these flash bombs out in the air, and then they chase each other and I guess maybe stimulate their bombs. I don't know what they're doing. They look like firecrackers, like flares or something in the sky, but... They've been putting out all these clouds today. And hearing a lot of kids out there screaming, but one thing I can say about these pigs, they are not aggressive. They're not going to try to bite you. They're going to run away from you. They don't want to have nothing to do with you. Um, Bonnie was letting me pet her. Clyde was just a, still a little hesitant, but I was sitting there every day and talk to them and put treats in my hands and feed them directly from my hand to them and starting to build a relationship with them. And I was hoping within two or three or maybe even six months down the road, they say, hey, um, she's not going to hurt us and go forward, but no. And I've been studying about them for the last year. And uh, just heartbroken. All right, well, I'm going to get going now. I hope everybody's having a great day. Remember, be kind, be blessed, and um, enjoy your day. Blue.